Let's talk about how men think. Hey everyone, Dylan Schumacher, Citadel Defense. And uh, I was driving through town the other day and there is this, there's been these billboards that have been up for a while now, a couple weeks. And uh, they say, real men love babies. And it's this, it's this pro-life um, ad, you know, to say that, you know, real men love babies and so, you know, be pro-life and stuff. And I can appreciate the sentiment, right? That, that we want to uh, preserve the life of babies and, and not do abortion. And, uh, and that, you know, they're, they're trying to generate this thing of real men love babies. And I was thinking about that. And I was thinking, you know, this ad, I'd be willing to bet a significant amount of money, was not made by a man. Because what does that ad appeal to, right? That ad appeals to uh, compassion, lovey-feely, Things. Now, are men incapable of feeling that? Absolutely not. No. Um, you know, I love my kids, right? I have, I have three kids. As a dad of three kids, I will tell you, I don't know if I love babies, right? All of my kids have been babies, and I love all of my kids. Uh, however, I, I'm, glad, I'm glad to be out of the baby phase, right? So I was thinking about this, and, and I was thinking this is, this is a wider cultural issue to me. Even here when someone is trying to uphold a good thing, uh, being pro-life, they're still doing it in a way that is this effeminate, feminized manner, right? Now again, the ad was probably written by a very well-meaning lady, and I don't mean to insult her at all. But what I am saying is that ad doesn't target men. It targets women it, and men think differently. That ad would be better said, real men don't let their progeny get murdered in the womb. Real men defend the weak from being ripped apart by a doctor, doctor, right? Real men slay the wicked before they can slay the innocent, right? Ooh, ooh that was spicy. Should I have said that? I don't know. Uh, look, point being, you, there, there's, there's, a, there's a battle intensity, right? When I say that, when I say, hey, real men protect the innocent from being murdered. That's like, oh man, like you're, you, if you're a man, you're watching this, I guarantee you get a little, you get a little spike, a little energy rush. Like, oh yeah, like let's go Dylan. I'm excited about that, right? You're not excited by, well, real men love babies. Now, now someone out there, there'll be one person, right? Who will disagree with me. But like, of course I do, Dylan. You're, you're just an incompassionate jerk. But the funny part is, I am being compassionate, right? I want to defend the innocent and the weak. I just want to defend the innocent and the weak. It's not about lovey dovey feel goodies to me, right? And most men, I'm gonna go with 97% are right there with me and you understand what I'm saying, right? You understand, no, I do wanna go out and defend the weak. What does it mean to love my family? It means that if someone breaks into my house in the middle of the night, I'm going to solve that problem ballistically, right? That's what it means. It means you're going to do what God has made you to do and you're going to defend, you're gonna protect, you're gonna use violence, right? Of course you're gonna do all of these things. So when, when I see an ad that's like, real men love babies, I guess I just think, I mean, okay, I understand what you're saying, but that's not, gonna, no man is gonna see that ad and be like, I do love babies, that's a good point. I shouldn't, I, we shouldn't murder babies in the womb anymore. No man is gonna make that connection and say that, right? Um, but if you have an ad that's like, well, real men protect the weak, right? Defend the lives of the innocent. Don't let babies get slaughtered and dismembered, right? Like, ooh, now, now, now that's a little bit more exciting. There's some adventure. There's some danger in there, right? So, again, I just think as we look out into the world, and I see these things about how we as a culture are conveying messages and and, and what the message is and, and who it's really targeted to and who's writing it and what it's appealing to, I think it's extremely interesting. I think it's extremely interesting for this channel because, again, we live in a feminized culture, by and large. Um, I don't know anybody who would really disagree with that statement anymore. Um, and so, you as a man are gonna run into these things that you're like, well, I see that ad and, and I should feel uh, like, I, I, yeah, I wanna agree, right? But it feels, it feels weird, it feels funny. Um, and I think that when you, when you get to that point, know that you're not the crazy one here, all right, bro? I'm on your team. Uh, you should, of course, want to defend the lives of the innocent, but it's the messaging that is the problem. And it's not weird for you to look at that and be like, well, that's a stupid ad, I don't really care about that ad. Yes, obviously I'm against abortion because I don't believe in murder, 
but you know, I, I, don't, um, I don't connect with this ad. And you don't need to try to bridge that gap. You don't need to try to bridge it and say, well, you know, I mean, I should, I should really love, I love the babies, right? You, should, you don't need to bridge that gap and, and feel that. So I just want to encourage you, men. You're not insane. It's okay. We live in insane times. And sometimes people will say things or do things that are well-meaning, but they don't realize that they're not really talking to you, even though they're trying to. And again, that's okay, right? So do brave deeds, endure, be aware of the culture that's going on, fulfill your manly calling that God has called you to do of defending the lives of the innocent. We need you boys out there.